I'm very interested in these multifunctional projects. How much can you put into them? How, how much can you layer onto them? The beauty is about the process. I want to do the kind of art that people love because I want it to be there 50 years and 100 years from now. The Draw Sugar House in Salt Lake City is first perceived as two enormous images, a flower and a snake. The model for both flood walls and spillway is Echo Canyon, one of the most famous landscapes in American history, traversed by Mormon pioneers, the Union Pacific Railroad, and I-80. The initial impetus for this project was a dangerous highway crossing that separates three residential neighborhoods, a popular public park, and a commercial strip. The original design was simply a pedestrian tunnel under the seven-lane highway, linking the park and nature corridor with an easement between high office buildings. Like Echo Canyon, our retaining wall is filled with ecological niches, perches, ledges, and nesting crevices interwoven with planting pockets and small trees. And the witches, a group of erosional monuments, unfold along the journey. For decades, people, including the Cope kids, have envisioned a safe passage underneath 1300 East. And after decades, literally, and 15 years of Pratt's involvement, the draw is becoming a reality. Now we'll see hundreds, if not thousands, of people using this passage daily. The draw functions as much more than a bike and pedestrian passageway underneath 1300 East. It's representative of the canyon where the Mormon pioneers and explorers came through Wyoming and reached the Utah Valleys. So much thought has gone into a lot of the details, such as these little pockets. They will function as habitat for wildlife and plants. To the east, through the tunnel, is the Sago Lily Plaza. It's representative of the state flower. And in fact, the Sago Lily and its bulb were used by the pioneers to survive some of the first harshest winters. It will actually function as a dam, and should the water ever breach 1300 East, the water will come right through the draw and feed right back into Parley's Creek. But we're halfway there. To complete the bigger picture and the project as a whole, we are currently seeking to raise $2.2 million so that we may complete the Sega Lily Plaza. It's functional, artistic engineering that tells a story and a history of the area. 